Hi, I'm Sean Velez, an American board certified endodontist practicing in Aiken, South Carolina. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how ingenuity can intersect the science of endodontics. Successful root canal treatment depends on proper execution of the following. Canal shaping, disinfection, and obturation. Once my diagnosis is made, my typical treatment sequence will include access to the pulp chamber and root canal system, preparation and maintenance of a glide path, confirmation of working length, canal shaping, irrigation for disinfection, and finally, obturation with a warm gutta percha technique such as gutta core. Let's walk through a routine case. I treated this necrotic tooth number five with symptomatic apical periodontitis. First, I achieved straight line access and established a glide path with a number 10 file. Canal orifices were shaped with the ProTaper SX file. After reconfirming my working length, a Wave 1 primary reciprocating file created the final shape. Using the Tulsa Pro Rinse Needle, copious sodium hypochlorite was delivered to within one millimeter of the confirmed working length. Qmix was employed as the final rinse for 90 seconds, and the canals were obturated using gutta core. As you can see, a nice result was achieved. Most cases will follow the previous protocol, but occasionally you'll encounter that case that requires you to think outside the box. Let's look at a case that put my creative endodontic skills to the test. I recently treated this necrotic tooth number six with chronic apical abscess. This tooth measured 27 millimeters in length, possessed a wide canal, and exhibited an S-curve apically. After completing my access, it was apparent that the canal already possessed the shape necessary for proper irrigation and obturation. Utilizing the Tulsa Pro Rinse Needle, sodium hypochlorite was delivered to within one millimeter of the confirmed working length. Note the position of the Pro Rinse Needle in this radiograph. Agitation of the irrigant was performed by pumping a gutta percha point in an apical coronal manner. Note the curve imparted on the point. Cumix was utilized as the final irrigant and a number 35 size verifier was used to confirm adequate shape for the gutta core carrier. Sealer was placed in the canal using a paper point and a number 35 gutta core carrier was inserted into the canal. The PA radiograph was taken to confirm obturation. Note some voiding in the apical area as well as the mid and coronal third of the root. This was a result of a very large canal which required more gutta percha. To resolve the voiding at the apex, moderate finger pressure was applied to the carrier handle for one minute in an apical direction. I then used my calamus dual to create space next to the gutta core carrier. Subsequently, I added more warm gutta percha. The tooth was restored, and here is the final result. As you can see, gutta core is very forgiving, allowing the operator to improve the result even after the carrier is placed. In most cases, gutta core will supply more than enough warm gutta percha to obturate even the most challenging canals. However, in this tooth, additional gutta percha was needed. The calamus dual provided the solution. Remember, successful endodontic therapy is a result of applying art as well as science. Thanks for watching.